ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Today, what we shall be making is the handle for the barbecue. We are going to be using three quarter inch square bar. Um, and we, for the handle, we are going to be making a little bit fancy. We're going to be using a cube twist. I've never done a cube twist on this channel. Um, you can either wait for the end of the video to see what it looks like, or you can search up right now. We're going to have a bit at the end here so that I can taper that down and bring it out and round for the so it can actually attach to the barbecue. So what we're going to need to do first is, I can't remember. So what we're gonna do is find out well, roughly how much metal we're gonna need. I'm gonna say about two, two inches should be ample um, for it to come bend down and round and attach to, uh, to the barbecue. And then we'll scribe a line or hacksaw a line, whatever we want to do. And then we can go off there of how much material we want and um, yeah, make a twist. So, let's get to it. Uh, we're going to measure around, I reckon, oh, over two inches. Probably about an inch and a quarter from the end. We're going to use our little square piece here and scribe a line down there. Now obviously it's not going to be very easy to see a scribed line when the metal is hot so we're going to use a hacksaw and just make that line look more clear and cut into the metal, metal a tad and that is my limit I can't go past that when um, using a chisel so I'm going to do this now I've got a little bit of space on this end for the handle. I'm going to do the exact same down this end. Good deal of space for the handle. So we're going to do that one there. And that will be my scribe. The exact same, get the hacksaw. Now when marking out lines with a hacksaw, you don't need to go too deep, you just need to make it so that it's clear from the rest of the piece. So I've got a bit of space on this side, a bit of space on this side, that's ample for a handle, it's a nice size. And when um, I'm going to leave all this on there, so that I have something to hold on to. And then once I've done the handle, and I'm going to start drawing these bits out, I'm going to do the handle, draw all this out, and then I can then cut it and then draw this bit out as well. So, let's get to it. Right, so, we've chiseled everything, we've got the grooves, so now we're going to get a tape measure. We get a hacksaw as well, set square, and a scrub. I'm not sure how long it is from border to border, you're going to check. It's about oh, just under five inches, so about th four and three quarter inches. Okay, <clears throat> so... What I want to do is measure it out so that we've got even marks going across here. So what we're actually going to do is we've got two sections here. One, two. And we've got that on each side. One, two. Okay. We're going to 
cut at a 45 degree angle, so down onto there. Um, so we're doing this one, so we're going to cut sections with the hacksaw in there, and then same on the opposite corner. Right, so I've done a tad bit of working out, and 4.75 divided by 19 apparently is 0.25. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark out along here every quarter of an inch. Okay. Now, need to sit square and just go over each one and make a good solid line. So now that we've marked those all out, and what we're going to do is get the hacksaw and we're going to cut those sections. Uh, so finished uh, all the hacks on this side, you see how it's made those almost cubish shapes. They're not all the same, exact same size, I tried to get it as close as I can. Also, if you're trying to do something like this, then trying to get these squares, or try to get these squares as equal as possible for the best outcome. So, we've done that. So now time to do the exact same thing on this side. Right, so we've finally done it. I'll place you down and show you what. There you go, you've got cuts on that side and then flip it over to the other one. You've got cuts on that side as well. Yeah, there's 19, or oh, so it should be 18 little cubes, 19 cuts. Lovely. So now we can get up to the best bit, actually twisting it. Alright, so I apologise in advance. This shakes the camera at all. It's half a turn, like full turn. Alright, oh, just about to do the trick. Take it over to the anvil, clear it, clean it off, straighten it up, and it should almost be done with it. Right, so we're going to use our homemade wooden mallet. Straighten it out. The reason why I'm using a wooden mallet is it reduces damage on the angle twist. But if you hit it with a metal hammer, obviously it's going to cause more damage. Now 
notice I'm keeping the pattern, the um, twist, off of the anvil, so that I hopefully don't hit it and mark it and ruin it. I've got to be very, very careful of my hammer blows. Right, so forged one end out. So we're going to measure and describe. That was one and a quarter inches to make that. So we're going to measure one and one quarter inches. Like that. Now set square all the way around. There you go. Now we're going to use power hacksaw and cut that off. down the end to the top um, and then we'll start forming it into a flared shape. Continue taking this down. Right, so the tip is about where I want it to be. That's about as small as I want the tip to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edge of the hammer to thin down all this material at the back here. I'm not using the flat, I'm just using the edge here. And just thinning down the material at the back, making it nice and even. Right, I apologise in advance if it shakes the camera. Again, I'm just using the corner, the edge of the hammer. Right, 
continue drawing this black section out here. I'm going to try and leave the tip where it is because that's quite a nice thickness. I'm going to leave about this much of the tip for the little plate there and the rest of it will be drawn out into a bit thinner material so it can be bent round and up. Right, so we've got a tool on the strange block here. It's got a little domed head. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let a bit hang over, hit that piece of metal. There. See how that creates that little depression and leaves that bulge at the end. That bulge is going to be the plate that we're going to drill. So I'm just creating a little bulge at the end. Sides and the front as well. Again, these tools are very helpful. So whenever you get a chance, if you don't sell the yard or anything, or a friend offers you these tools, get them. If you're interested in your blacksmithing or anything like this, get them. They're very handy. They go for all sorts of different things. I'm going to heat it up again and yeah, just do a little bit more, more work on this little dome piece. Again, the exact same thing. So I'm trying to keep it level with this little tab at the back. So when I flatten it out, everything's nice and straight and level, lovely. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I am going to flatten out that tab piece at the end, and then I'm going to round off this little area in the middle, and then we can start bending around and straighten everything out. and bend it back up, straighten everything out and make it look like that. So now we're going to use the different parts of the handle, which is this part here. Up here, I'm going to flatten this 
that up here. Now we're going to do the centre punch for the holes, that's magnetic, stop it. Right, so just oiled it, um, sorry, wire brushed it up. Lovely and shiny. Yeah, an oily rag, give it a nice oil over. Now get a clean rag. And take off any excess oil. It's not slippery to the hand. And then you've still got that thin layer of oil just to protect it on the surface and inside the pores there you go and there's how you make a cube twist handle that'll be it for this video thank you so so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed the handle came out a lot lot better than i actually thought it was going to which i'm very very pleased about um, i really like how it looks um that'll be going on the barbecue there's the hand from the barbecue, We've done the hinges, done the handle, uh, just need to clean off the barbecue again and then attach everything and then we can start making the frame for it. So yes, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, subscribe if you haven't already and turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, see you in the next one, bye bye.